Hey everyone, in this video I'll be doing a side-to-side -side comparison or a bake-off of the Vavor 5 kilowatt diesel heater and the Wipro 5 kilowatt diesel heater. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors. And today um, we're doing a kind of a test, a side-by-side kind of -side comparison of a Vavor 5 kilowatt watt diesel heater and a Wipro 5 kilowatt diesel heater. So I, I did the Wipro in my last video and I got a ton of questions asking was it as quiet as the Vavor. So this is one we did last year. This is last year's model. It's very similar in specifications uh, and their size and all that stuff. Uh, that, this one's a little bit more beefy I think. This got a little bit more plastic. Anyway, uh, and I got some crazy specs on this thing going 30 hours this Wipro on one gallon of gas on low and then 11 hours on high, um, much higher than I, than I thought it would be. So uh, having both of them, I thought I would just put them side by side. Let's, let's do some similar tests and see if it's the same. Now, we did do some modifications to this Vavor last year. Uh, here's a video where I did throw, a, kind of gut it out a little bit, take the fuel pump out of it and put in a, what was called an ultra quiet that I found on Amazon. And we'll do a little test here to see if they're similar in, in sound with the base one because this, this Wipro is very quiet when it's, they're similar in price. Well, I'll tell you what, let's turn this around, look at these. So we've got both units here on the table. This is the Vavor 5 kilowatt system that we bought last year that we did a little modifications here, uh, adding some Kevlar wrapping and we did update the fuel pump in it. It's going to be connected to this 500 watt, watt fun power station. And on this side, we got our Wipro. Very similar unit in size and weight. It is, they're both ready to go, ready to be turned on. And we're gonna have that connected to our Blue Eddy AC 180. Now last week, uh, again, this one, when we did the test, this went 30 hours on low. Let's kind of see where they go. They both have uh, also, this one has a 1.3 gallon tank, and that one also has a 1.3 gallon tank. Let's go ahead and uh, get these guys fired up, get our units turned on. Last time we used the timer on the Vavor. We're actually just going to use an iPhone right now. So I've got this both going. They're both firing up and starting their stages. We're at 14 seconds in. All right, as these start up, you can start hearing the pump. Start seeing some smoke come out of here and you can hear it pumping. On this other one, we have a similar on the Wipro. You can hear it pumping as well. This ticking noise will go away over time, but this is when it first starts firing up in the first five minutes. So for our comparison testing, I really only care about three things. One is putting gas in there and, and heat coming out. I'm not going to get into tinkering with all the programming and all that stuff. So we're going to look at uh, two, two real areas. I would say they're both easy to use. Uh, this one, which I did replace the fuel pump in, all I've ever done is turn the thing on and it worked. Same thing with this guy. So for it being ease of use to go from high to low and low to high, that all works fine. The ticking noise, that's a big one for me. They're both kind of similar. We'll look at that in a second. And then fuel efficiency. How long will these go? Both of these have a 1.3 gallon tank inside of them. And so the fuel efficiency, when I'm going out on my overlanding trips, how much gas do I need to bring for a, a three day or a five day trip where it gets, gets getting down to 20 degrees at night? So this will be the basis of the test. How long? How quiet. This test is off and running. We're just kind of getting started. I did want to take some values here. So if we're looking here, we are roughly about 217, 210 degrees coming right out of that metal point. And if we look at our exhaust, it's wrapped. We're running about 180 degrees. I believe this Vavor is a little bit hotter. Uh, at least the, the temperature is coming out of it is a little bit hotter on low than the Whip Pro. And if we look here, this is pulling anywhere from 9 to 11 watts is what it's pulling constantly we got a full battery on this watt fun and again this is 12 volt 10 amp out so that's what's powering this if we look over here at the same setup and take a look in here we're running a little bit kind of right around 195 a little less than we were on the Vavor with the Wipro and if we look at our exhaust it is also you know hot it's it's not as hot as it will be when we go up but it's 130 so pretty warm this will this will heat up your tent very well one last thing is the whip pro seems to use anywhere from five 
to 10 uh, watts. So it seems to be a little bit more efficient than the Vable. All right, we're about 10 hours into this and things are going pretty good. Uh, Blue Eddy is at 91%. The little watt fund is actually down to 50% almost, so it's burning through the, the battery. See here, we're down uh, eh, about a third of this. So this may can go 30 hours, we'll see. One thing I do like about the Vavor versus the Whip Pro is it does have a window all the way down. So you can see, this one only has it at the bottom. If we look at where we are, wise, we're still at uh, roughly 180 degrees right there. And if we look at where we are here, we're still at about 150, eh, about 200-ish, somewhere in there. And on the exhaust, we are about 187. Based on where we are now after 10 hours, I am guessing that this is probably gonna, both of them are probably go 30 hours. We'll see, it's uh, it's the middle of night and it's, uh, it's 30 degrees outside. All right, good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are at the 21 hour and 21 minute mark. Now, a couple observations. One is on the ticking. I have uh, observed a little bit that the Vavor, even though I did replace the fuel pump, does have, you can kind of hear it. It's not super loud, but it's noticeable. And on the Wipro, um, I haven't done anything to it. It does have a small ticking noise, but it's, it's very quiet. All right, a couple other observations um, as we are just getting through this. Now we did the Wipro test last week and we got 30 hours on low. I've kind of figured the, the Vavor would have something similar but I will tell you, it is burning through the gas. I don't see us getting anywhere near 30 hours. We're almost at the bottom at 21 hours. If we can get to 24, I'd be happy. If we look here on the Whip Pro, I mean, we're just starting to get to this point. We're a little, little below, I guess half is probably about here. So we're about right there. I see this doing its 30 hours like it always did. Not concerned about it. The other thing that I've noticed is this thing is chewing power. We're way below 50% here now at 11 watts. It's just constantly building in versus the Blue Eddy, which is at 86%. Now, obviously this thing's a little more than twice as big, but it's much more efficient in its power draw. So with that said, I, uh, I, I no longer think the Vavor is gonna keep up with the Whip Pro on low and be able to go 30 hours. I'd be very surprised if it makes it to 24. Hey everyone, first I want to thank everyone for your support over the last couple years. We've grown this channel from nothing to almost 3,000 subscribers last year at this time on Thanksgiving Day. I just crossed 1,000, now we're at 3,000. Hey, I do have a favor to ask. That currently 98% of the viewers that look at my content are not subscribers. So if you could just please click that subscribe button and help me out a lot. I have an ambitious goal of getting to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. I know it. It seems far, but I think I can do it. So please click that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody's support and thank you so much. All right, we are at 24 hours and three minutes on Saturday morning. Yeah, you know, this is a little bit surprising. I actually thought these would be a little closer. If we look at the Whip Pro, fuel level's about right here. Got lots to go. If we look over here at this guy, he is almost at the bottom. We are just right here. So I am guessing he is gonna go another one hour, maybe two hours. We'll see. Okay, the Vavor has finally died. Looks like we made it about eh, between 26 hours and 20 minutes or 23 minutes. It's out here about two minutes ago before it died. It is completely empty on the window. And the Whip Pro is going strong. Feels good too. It's got quite a bit left. As we did last week, we got a 30 hours out of this, and I would project that we get 30 hours out of this. Well, I tell you what, I was a little bit surprised the Vavor unit uh, only did 26 hours and roughly 23 minutes, let's just say, where the Wipro went a full 30 hours on our last test. I mean, that's over three hours difference uh, when you're out camping and stuff. That could be a big deal. So what we're going to do now is reset. We're going to reload them with gas, get them going, and we're going to turn the temperature all the way up. Now, we did this exact same test last week with the Whip Pro, and we went 11 hours wide open as much as would go through there. Let's see where this goes. I know the Whip Pro will do 11 hours. I'm kind of curious how much the Vavor does, because I have a feel it's much less efficient, and I will tell you, it burned through the battery. It was, it was pulling about double the watts on low 
that the Wipro was. Wipro was around 5 to 6 consistently, and this was around 10 to 11 consistently with the Vabor. So it was burning some power off of the power stations as well, which is something to take into account when we're out camping and overlanding. So all right, let's get this test going. Okay, we're back on our test. It is one hour and 14 minutes into our test. And we've got the Wipro, or the uh, Vabor over here and the Wipro over here. And let's do a couple readings. So we did this when they were on low and they were significantly. So this particular one, we're running about 300 degrees coming from the center there. And if we look at our exhaust, we are running about 200 and 90 degrees. Now, one thing I want to note is this is drawing in a lot more watts than what it did on low. We're up running about 30 to 33 coming off the watt fun. I had to plug this in because it was uh, had drawn so much power before when we were on low. Vice versa, if we're on the Whip Pro, it's running about the same thing too. Running anywhere from 30 to 35 to 38. If we take a peek here and look inside of it, we are running at roughly 3 100 degrees 320 seems to be just a little bit hotter and the same thing here on the exhaust we are running uh, about 275 285 300 somewhere in there so a lot hotter and so that's our one hour test okay it's saturday night and we are running our high capacity test at maximum output on the vavor and the whip pro units we are at six hours and six minutes so looking over at the Vavor, it is um, kind of moved down. It's about half capacity. Now this is a little misleading because inside of the fuel tank, there's screw holes here and here. So it'll go from here to here very, very quickly. But with that said, it is still drawing about 32 to 33 watts. And if we look at how much temperature is coming out of this thing, roughly about 300 degrees or so, 310, 315, somewhere in there coming out of the heat portion and on the exhaust it is super hot at basically 250 degrees let's say now on the whip pro side now obviously this one's predictable because we've done it before still running about 35 degrees or 35 watts draw and it is at basically about 330 degrees coming out a little bit warmer and then also out of the exhaust it's almost roughly around 280 to 290 coming out of there now as far as fuel goes it still hasn't uh came below the half tank here all right it is sunday morning at 12 54 a.m and the test has been going for 11 hours and 35 minutes and shockingly the wipro is out of gas it is done the vavor is still going i was very surprised at this as such the poor performance we had on low uh, it's almost out of gas, but it is outperforming the Wip Pro. It still has a little bit of ticking. You can kind of hear it. Let's see how long it'll go. All right, it is 1 o'clock in the morning, and we went 11 hours and 44 minutes on the Vavor, and it has finally died and is out of gas and has shut down. Wow. That was a crazy test, actually. It went over a couple days. So I didn't expect the Vavor to underperform so poorly on low, and then I didn't really expect it to outperform the Whip Pro on high as much as it did. So our results out of the gate were the Whip Pro went 30 hours on low, and the Vavor went 26 hours and 23 minutes on low. And on high, actually, we got much more performance out of the Whip Pro than we did last week. We got all the way up to 11 hours and 30 minutes, and the Vavor went 11 hours and 44 minutes, which is crazy. The other test we wanted to look at was ticking. How did these things perform noise-wise? I will tell you the Vavor, even with the ultra quiet fuel pump that we put in it last year, still tick more than the Whip Pro. The Whip Pro is very, very quiet. So those are the tests, uh, those are the performance. You can buy both of these on Amazon. What can I, what can I say there? They're what I would call cheap diesel heaters. Even with all of the alterations, you're looking at $150 investment. Both are good units. I'm gonna start using the Whip Pro out in the field. Hey, if you got a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified we got new content out there. Again, everybody, thanks for your time and have a great day.